dead, it's not really a device is really not found. I think it's telling that so far the only people we have on have dots. But should one ask how many of them have multiple dots? So far, uh, oh, there's Lars. Not, we just we, we, have, we just got our first multi dot. <laughs> Up to now, Lars, everyone has joined has a, a single dot, but then you join. Oh, and we, good, we have, you know, at least one NOMCOM member. Yes. So I'm one who likes to start on time. And being as it's actually one minute late at this point, I think we should go ahead and start. Michael, you think so? Yep, let's start. Let's do it. So welcome to the LG working group first meeting. Uh, Michael has just put the note well on there. Note that well. And I don't think this group needs any further discussion of that. Uh, the discussion, the, there's basically the only thing on the agenda is uh, to agree on where we're going and start discussion on the document. So Michael has an agenda there. Um, let's have a look at that and bash it. Does anybody think there's anything needed on the agenda besides um, discussing how we're going to run the working group and then getting right into the document? Hearing nothing, we'll move on. Um, so uh, the one thing I wanted to say about uh, working group management and you know, how we're going to do this is that the, the draft that's out there uh, reflects what was in the experiment that we already had consensus, community consensus on. Um, so my proposal is that while the details are all up for grabs and we can change any detail we want to change, we need consensus to make the change. We presume we already have consensus on what's there and any changes are what, what we need to have consensus for. Um, if anybody thinks that's a bad idea, you should speak up now. And I will let Michael take over for any other management things he wants to say. I have nothing. I started taking notes. In okay, uh, Joel. Go for it. Yeah, but that's all. I have nothing else to say. Okay. Joel. Hello. So, um, while I find your phrasing slightly odd, I, I can live with the working group taking as given the existing stuff, whether I agree with the reason or not. But that needs to be confirmed explicitly on the list. This call can't reach that conclusion. Yes, I think we, we have some experienced people around here. We know that that's how it goes. Um, so didn't yes, you're right. If you didn't say it. <laughs> Robert. Popping up a level to the, um, how the working group is going to work. Um, the, Milestone listed with the charter is November. Is that um, before, at, immediately after 115? What's our real deadline for requesting publication? When we put that date in, we were planning to make it the end of November, I think, is the, the, the hope. So we will um, we will have IETF 115 to continue discussion, and I hope we can wrap things up right after that. Okay. All right. Let's get uh, let's dive right into the document then. Um, 
Martin, is there anything you want to say to start us off? Uh, what do I have to do to, ah, there you go. I probably, I've released it. Maybe you need to ask again, Martin. And I, I can't hear Martin. I see his lips move, but are you double muted? No, I hear nothing. Uh, okay, no, I'm sorry. I just I just forgot how Meet Echo works. Okay, um, ask to share your yeah, screen so again, the, Martin. The, say again. Ask to sit, share your screen. I think we didn't. I don't have any screen. slides. Oh, okay. I know you didn't have any slides. I thought you were going to put up GitHub. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. No, I, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, so there aren't... Um, so the, the GitHub is up. Uh, there are um, some people already submitted some PRs for some minor editorial stuff. Thank you. Those have been committed already. Um, I have a couple of, I, I filed a few issues myself, as you can see. Um, they're mostly minor, but uh, the two things I would like to say about them are one, the available data one. So there's a to-do to have an available data section. Um, in 8989, there was one that had some stats about, you know, how the different paths would lead to um, you know how many how many how many people that I would add to the pool um, I, I don't have any data I don't really have a strong conviction as to what data should be there so feel free to like send me some data or do a PR or add something to the issue about things you would like to see and I'm happy to consider those things um, the other well actually let me just open that up first if anyone has any comments at, right now about that Robert. So um, I pretty much have to generate the data. Um, and to do so, I would need really well-defined questions for what it is that you want this document to actually show. And I know that I've got some implementation to finish before I can actually run the data out for the uh, what I anticipate those questions would be. So it would it would very likely be um, uh, mid-October before I could provide anything. So still within the realms of stuff landing in for a November deadline. But um, I'd like to first challenge, do we really need it? I mean, are we trying to prove anything with the, I mean, when we were doing the experiment, I think we needed to motivate the experiment, but now I'm not sure we need to provide the motivation. And while I'm happy to do the data mining work, I'm wondering if it's a distraction for actually getting the document out. And we, if we wanted to have a, you know, uh, some sort of, efficacy study it might happen as a separate effort uh thank you robert uh, so yeah I, I am not married to having a section by any means um uh I, I would say that well first of all if no one put does anything in response to this issue then i would just close it and not have the section but i, I would say that often when you take an experimental rfc and make it standard usually has the results of the experiment and it might be appropriate to to have something to that effect, kind of saying how it went and, you know, includes the data. Michael. Uh, did I get the microphone mute right? Yes, I think so. Um, so Robert um, uh, and Martin, what about any, the, should the document have any requirements for ongoing collection of the, the data, like a yearly snapshot of essentially the data that went into the Venn diagram is that something that you think that we will need ongoing? 
Is that easy to produce retroactively? So it's going to become a little bit easier to produce retroactively in that um, since one, and I'm come 2021, I've had the data, I have the data tracker showing the um, volunteer pool, um, capturing the volunteer pool in the data and also displaying it, but we actually have it by person instead of by some um, name handle that is hard to match against the the identity that we're, we're trying to work with. So it will be far easier going forward um, now that we are um, getting a some data with integrity collected about who the who the volunteers that went into the calculation actually were um, to ask even different questions um, going forward. So that didn't uh, maybe other people have some other views on the the, the more question is does the document need to specify the data that we should be collecting or experiments over we don't care um i'm thinking partly like you know someone that decides they're going to uh renormalize the database in a new way and suddenly there's some measurement that we were doing regularly that we can do um and unless we're collecting the data regularly, we wouldn't notice that until we actually, someone said, well, you know, how many people did X, Y, Z? Well, at least with the metrics that we are um, using right now and what are proposed in this document, the odds of the data destroying the ability to, to look at those calculations are, are zero. I mean, we're looking at who were document authors, who were um, working group chairs, leaders, and who attended meetings. And that's not data we're going to throw away. I will say there's a hint. I, I will say there's a hint of that um, request for data collection in the security considerations. It's not really written as such, but it uh, for those of you who haven't read of the security considerations, um, attempts to like create a, the threat model and how someone might try to take control of the non-com and the ITF for nefarious purposes, and like. It, it, just the thought experiment there does sort of point out some early indicators that this is going on um but there isn't a formal like requirement for somebody to collect data and, and analyze it yeah i mean it, the way i look at it this document is ending the experiment not continuing it and while we always like to collect data on uh, in an ongoing way i don't know that this document needs to specify that I don't object if it does, but I, I don't want it to look like this is prolonging the experiment. But uh, that's not the point here, right? So I've heard some interesting discussion. I haven't really gotten a, a clear action item. Um, my, my intent remains to uh, leave this open for a while if a PR comes in or a um, or some additional information the issue comes in, uh, I will consider it and uh, I will run it by Robert to see if it is feasible. Um, and if uh, and if those things are true, I'm happy to make changes to the document. But if nothing happens, I'm just going to close it out. Okay. The um, other somewhat more sensitive substantive item is uh, directorate members in path two. Uh, so. Um, at this point, I lack data on whether this would make a difference, so I should preface everything with that. But um, we've got working group chair. I, I've actually, I originally proposed this when we were going to severely curtail the number of people that were eligible as a result of being a remote attendee. Um, now, so like we needed a way to capture like you're actually going to meetings, you're doing things rather than going to online meetings and just kind of sitting there. Uh, I'm not sure this is needed anymore, the more I think about it, because not, it, do we really want someone who's just doing director reviews and not going to any ITF meetings at all? And and I think the question is probably, the answer is probably no. Robert? So the 
I've looked a bit at the data around directorates um, and directorate membership, and I think that just being a member of the directorate is just going to be noisy and, and not really help. That if you wanted to pursue this path, it would be it would have to be a directorate member that met a certain metric boundary, and defining what that metric boundary is is I think going to be something that would not be easy to get consensus on. Um, we had conversations about this back um, when we were doing the um, 8989, the discussions that led to 8989, and the the. After a, a few times going around the poll on it, the the decision was to punt. Okay, I mean that's good enough for me. If no one's going to speak up for it, I'm probably just going to close this issue. Um, I'm I'm no longer fired up about it as as I just said. Um, so I, it's not in GitHub, but there's one other question, which is one of authorship. I know there's. At least some noise that like maybe having the only author of this being uh, an area director like was possibly poor optics. Um, there was also concern that maybe it would be too much work for me given my eighty workload. And, and as I said on the list, like this won't be a problem. I, I can get this done. Uh, however, if people are concerned about the optics, there are like three things we could do. One is that um, I could just like hand the pen to somebody else and walk away from this, and my name isn't on it. Like I'm not here to boost my authorship stats. Uh, the second option is we could bring on a, a, uh, a co-author, and um, if we just need one, like sort of cosmetically, Stephen Farrell has graciously agreed to, to bring his name over from 8989, which would be fine with me. Or third, if you could just do nothing and drive on with me as the sole author. I, any of those is fine. And um, Robert, do you have a question, uh, another comment, or are you still, is that from before? No, that was from before, I apologize. Okay. So if anyone has any feedback on that point, I'm happy to take it. When we were forming things, we had a couple of uh, comments <clears throat> that a few people thought it might be better to have another author, but nobody seemed to have a strong opinion. John. Yes, as one of the people probably, probably brought that up, um, I, I'm more concerned that we discuss it and be explicit about whatever the decision is, which is what we're doing now than what the answer is. My gut instinct says we'd be better off with a co-author in principle, but uh, but as I say, the more important consideration was that uh, it not, not happened by accident. Thanks. My view on the point is that uh, we develop community consensus on this if anybody disagrees with the calling of consensus, they have a path to do that. And the author, the editor, does not really have the say in it. The editor is just doing a fairly mechanical job. We, 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 we always say that about IETF documents and it never quite works. But again, uh, I'm, I'm okay with whatever the outcome is. The important thing for me was to get the discussion started. Thanks, John. It's a question worth raising. Um, uh, if anyone says we really ought to do it, I'm happy to add it. But at this point, I'm not hearing that. So I think we'll, we'll just move on uh, unless other I, people have other comments. I, I, I also don't see a queue of volunteers rushing forward to join you on this. <laughs> well, like I said, like I would be fully comfortable to adding Stephen Farrell. Uh, I know it's often traditional to take a the original documents author and just bring it over. Um, so, you know, we wouldn't even really have to have someone do anything, uh, but nevertheless. Yeah, and, and that's part of my point, I guess, is that I think it's kind of odd to put someone else's name on just to have someone else's name on if Martin's still going to do the work. And I, I don't see any compelling reason to do that. Okay, so then um, that's it for issues. If you haven't read the document, I encourage you to do so. I mean, the core normative part about the eligibility is um, uh, is unchanged for 8989, but really all the text around it has changed. So um, I think what I'm gonna do here is, is clean up the acknowledgements as I, as I wrote there, wait a little bit for some data requests to come in, 
And then I think we're ready for working with last call unless people file other issues. Um, and and I, so for I, the purpose of this call, are there any changes to the three path system that anyone wants to push for now? And I see none. Hi, this is Donald. Um, I, I guess I will be looking at this and I, I think that I would like to simplify things. I don't think we need all three legs, um, but um, Okay, we will await your proposal on the mailing list. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I think there's something to that. I mean, ultimately, now that we have, I mean, if, if we're going to allow, like, even the, the slightest amount of remote participation as, at, at you know, at a regular ITF meeting as, um, it's sufficient then then really like the question is we really want someone who was doing these other things but not going to meetings recently to be on the numcom um when we were going to curtail uh m much like the directorate thing we were going to curtail the the eligibility of remote attendees you know and like put all sorts of fences around it because of the fear of abuse um uh it made a lot more sense to give people other avenues, but maybe you just need to go to meetings to do this. And I, I, I'm, I'm totally open to that change myself if people want to, to do it. Well, I think the point originally was getting a nomcom full of people who, had, who at least had some familiarity with the community as well as with how the IETF works. Mm -hmm. And as the IETF community has expanded and people are more specialized than they used to be, I think we've basically thrown that first part out the window that we can hope to get some people who are familiar, who know the community and know the people who are standing for positions, but mostly we have to rely on comments from others for that. And what we're hoping for with this path is people who are familiar with the IETF. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're actively going to meetings today um, if they're doing other work in the IETF, which I think is where things like directorate came in. So while I don't really want to push for, and I'm speaking as a participant here, not as a chair, um, while I don't want to push for any additional mechanisms, I don't think we should pair off the ones that we've already put there and experimented with. Uh, I'd, I'd rather stay with them. All right. Uh, a question for the chairs: uh, Do you want to actually just hold up with these, um, hold up on this available data item, or do you want to just clean it up and go straight to last call, and people can can like argue about data and last call if they want? Um, I, I, given that we're not going to have any data for three weeks or so, um, and that seems like a right time frame. Um, to actually be able to put pretty graphs on a screen at a in-person meeting. Um, it's, that sounds like a good plan and that even if we decide not to include the data in it, maybe we still want to collect it um, as a working group. Um, it's a thought I had. I had another thought, but um, I think I'll um, write it in an email. I'm sorry, so do you want me to, to essentially get it ready for last call immediately or do you want to wait until the stated discussion germany i don't for i agree with that i don't think we need to have the data um not really speaking as a working group chair i don't think that we need to have the data in the document to there i i think it's useful if we have a notion of what data we we uh we considered or looked at um but um I don't think that we need to have some numbers or we put Venn diagrams and data in the other document. I agree that we don't need to do that this time. So um, I'm just saying that that maybe we will get pushback and during that people, the community really wants the data 
and maybe we should plan on having it in the proceedings for IETF 115 anyway. Um, and maybe that's enough. Right? Yeah, I agree with that. So Martin, maybe you can post to the mailing list a note about the data you're collecting, planning to put in there. Um, I will post. So again, yeah, there's, there's no plan right now. I have no particular. Um, uh, well, let, like let's ask no Robert agenda. what data he was thinking that he was going to have to produce, produce, um, and maybe you can just describe that in two paragraphs, Robert, somewhere, and um, we can say we working group could say whether this is a useful to making our decision or not. Well, if you go into 8989 and look at the questions right. that were asked and the diagrams that were drawn there, I was expecting yeah, that's what I... did anything, it would be the um, logical modification of whatever those questions were to match what this document says. Okay. That's what I, I assumed as well. All right. And I will post to the list the plan that I said at the beginning of this that um, we're looking for any proposals to change the criteria that we have and that consensus needs to be achieved on plans for change that we assume we have consensus on what's there. Um, and then I will <clears throat> encourage people to read the document and post their suggestions forthwith with the idea of finalizing things at IETF 115. So do you want to call, do you want to start the last call before 115 or after 115? I want to do it after. Michael, you agree? Uh, yeah, I think that we should do it right after the meeting if we're assuming that we don't get major um, yep. issues. I think that's the right process yep. there. And I think okay. that still meets the end of November. So, I mean, Martin, if you want to, you know, whatever it is we need to do to make it ready, then don't stop on that. I mean, sure. I mean, I'll close out the, the issues I have here, except for the data one. Okay. And, and Donald said he had a proposal that he wants to make. So I guess you're going to write that to the list or in a GitHub issue, Donald, I guess, right? Yep. Yes. Excellent. Is there anything else anyone wants to discuss on this call? Hearing nothing, I think we have a short call and we are ready to proceed. Thank you everybody for coming. And we'll see you on the mailing list and then at 115. Wonderful. Anybody else? Okay.